Command Center. Cool. Gangster lean. All right, so the last 10 Segrity table we did is going pretty well. I think we may even be at a million views when this comes out, which is an attestment to how awesome each and every one of you are. We love you for that, and thank you. We also thank you for all the suggestions you've given on making it better. A lot of those being based around using a stronger wire. So, for this version, we're gonna try to strengthen this thing up to hold some weight, actually, to not rack. Therefore, we're gonna need some new components. So I went on the McMaster cars. You can get everything on there. I've, I'm, pr I'm literally pretty sure you can buy all of it. Like, like all of it, life. Right, Sam? The, the car stands for you to buy all the parts to make your own car. Yeah, it's definitely not a name. Um, so, <laughs> on the website, I went and bought some stainless steel braided wire in a couple different sizes. Um, and we're just gonna, what we're gonna try to do is beef this thing up. And to do that for this one, we're, we're gonna go with a little bit of a different building process. Instead of wood, Bobby, we're gonna use metal and we're gonna kind of like form as we go. So I've got a concept for what I want the arm on this, this guy to look like. Uh, we're gonna cut some parts out on the plasma, mock that thing up, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna mock it up in cardboard first, and then make a mockery of all the mocking because you guys love when I say mock up to the plasma cutter. Okay, children, this is gonna be the arm on the new table. We need to keep that thing from bouncing around like you saw there. So I'm gonna add this uh, spine down the center here. And you can see it already, you know, is, is way more, way less, way, it's bouncing much less. So we're gonna just stitch weld this in on either side and then we'll get to the uh, shaping part of this fun. And also for all of you admiring my helmet, yeah, she's a beaut. You could snag up a Lincoln Viking right now from Lincoln and save 20% with the code Viking Mal, M-A-L, first three letters of my last name. Are you ready for some spinal tap? I'm really glad I didn't step on the pedal there. <laughs> It looks like a thing, very sculptural. The only logical thing to do now is strength test it. Me! She's strong! All right, so to make this thing party and not look like just a I-beam spear, I'm gonna cut some, some cardstock, and, and this is how I think they do like metal stuff sometimes. I watched it on TV, not YouTube. This is back in the old days when people watched television. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna kinda work through it. Yeah, see how it goes. So I don't hate a shape like this. I mean, it's got a little bit of organic geometry to it. It's still subtle. I might bring that angle in here to meet there. All right, so we're liking the look of the shape that I fabric cobbled here. Now we gotta take these parts off here and actually measure them, put them into fusion, and then have the CNC cut them so all of them are perfect. Yay!
So we got all the parts cut out of metal. So now I, I don't actually know what the hell I'm doing, but I think if I just start tacking stuff in and kind of like moving it around, I'll generally get it to where I want it to go. But once again, this is a complete guess, but it should work, I think. So these are all welded up and ground. We're gonna clean them up a bit, sexify them a little bit with some Bondo. Why? Because I don't know what else to do to get these interior corners to not have gaps for paint. Even though I don't really mind them, I still wanna make them as pretty as I can. And I've never used Bondo before, so this should be good. I want my viewers to be satisfied. Is that satisfying? Actually, I advocate for the exact opposite of all of this. I do not understand. It says 20 minutes, and unless I can't count, very plausible. We are nowhere close to 20 minutes. Is it because it's 95 degrees in here? Okay, kids, so what I've got here is a slab cutoff that I did a demonstration video on how to put a bow tie in it that we haven't posted yet because this video doesn't have 10,000 likes. 10,000, last time was 1,000, this time it's 10. If it gets 10,000 likes, I'll post a video on how to make these. Dogs, Not, I know you don't, Sam, because you're a cat person, but dogs tend to find air vents in the floor when they're warm, and it's quite hilarious, especially bulldogs. They'll like lay right on top of them. That's why I feel like a bulldog is my spirit animal. They're adorable, very well-shaped, brilliant, obviously, and then also fat and stupid. It's boob sweat season. Stay safe, kids. All right, so we've got our top blank. We're gonna go with this bow tied inlaid piece. Uh, I needed to, one, help kind of stabilize it, so we're gonna skirt it with some maple. Um, and then two, I am an idiot and also built these to be on a 20 inch top and uh, I cut those to 18 inch squares for some reason. So I had to beef that up a bit. But before we get to gluing these up, what I need to do is create the mounting and the hidden holes for our wires. So first let's do the mounting for our bottom. So this is going to be our bottom plate and this is going to be the bottom piece of walnut. What we want to do, what I want to do, Sam actually didn't give me any input here because he's cranky today. I want this to like inset and come out of the wood which means I'm going to have to kind of scribe it to this. So we're going to go ahead before we get this thing painted 
and this is probably not the best way to do this now that I'm thinking about it. We're gonna take some paper here. What I'm thinking is if I can get the general kind of shape to stay sort of where I want it, then that will be a template for my insert. So unless I'm a complete idiot, very plausible, the way this triangle should work is if I can line the peak up with the center here, and then this is my sort of my template, I should be able to cut that socket out and kind of slide it on there. It is going great. Problem is, I need the damn base to be bolted in. And it's not, but I just want to look at it. Which Keller now? I don't know which one! Which one will we choose? The orange is awesome. The red is also awesome. She didn't get hurt. So after continually breaking this thing over and over and over, I've uh, reached the conclusion that, well, a few things here. One, the metal parts are weighing a lot more than, I mean, it probably weighs 20, 25 pounds for the top and the bottom. And I had, the string's tensile strength is like 70 and it is braided metal wire. Uh, it's like 70 pounds. So I thought it would at least be able to hold itself, which we obviously learned it couldn't. So I went and bought this on McMaster car, which is a 3 16th braided cable weighted for 800 pounds. Problem is, it's 3 16th, so it's visible, which I hate. I also had to buy some more ferrules and this beautiful $250 crimper, which makes me sad. So now we have to figure out a way to get this cable into where I want it and make it look decent. All right, we're about to get squirrely. New squirrely merch! Pew, 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 pew! Yeah, you'll see what I'm about to do. Because of these massive cable I have to use, I now have to expose this ferrule instead of hide it, which I don't like. But we're gonna try to make it look as good as we possibly can. Most importantly when doing things like this is make sure you're at maximal ass clownery as you do so. As in, make sure you're pre-finished, painted, and then drilling directly into it. My favorite. Mother God! Oh. That's cute. Well, this piece of rope here costs $75. All right, raise this sucker up till we get like some decent tension on these. Oh, I missed. Sure did. Boy, the muscles. Nipply do da, nipply day. Hey, nothing broke. All right, so now we gotta drop this down and tension the bottom. Okay, so we build furniture with a tuning fork. We basically make a guitar. We're luthiers. <laughs> so now we're back to the moment of truth. Oh, hell yeah! All right, I will be blatantly honest. It's not even any, it is, it's awesome. I kind of like I don't hate that it has like, I didn't want, I, it's not floating looking, but it definitely looks like a piece that's like, it still fucks with your head because you can't, like you don't really know how that works. And right. that's about the pressure I put on to break the last four. Oh, and it's pretty good. 
Let's test it! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a new segment called How Much Can This Hold? We've got an ensemble of random shit from the shop here that has weight to it that we're gonna use. This tub of glue, 10 pounds. Bucket of paint, 17 and a half. This five gallon bottle of agua, Spanish, 42 and a half. And then we've got a 53 pound kettlebell that randomly happens to be in the shop. Fitness. So we're gonna start out with the 10 pounds of glue. Ron, cue up the music. Thank you. So we've got 10 pounds here. No, oh, holds like a champ. Look at that, no problems at all. Barely any movement. Dude, this one is considerably more stable. Probably because it has four sides and we used a ridiculously expensive cable. Now, on to the next. Bucket of paint, 20 pounds. Oh, oh son! <laughs> I wish we would have checked, like tested the other one now. We did. We put a book on it and it was like, what? That's right. And it's actually very sadly broken in the other room because someone kicked it. Together for 30? ETH. Yeah. That was stupid. Take it off. It gets more stable with weight. 20. Or 17 and a half. And 10. That's like 30 pounds. So what's happening is we're losing tension on that side. It's because there's more weight on that side, I think. I can see it's pulling that way. I'm also scared. Be good. Woo it's not breaking. It's not breaking. I am like sweating profusely over here because it wants to go to the side because we didn't put them in equal balance because I'm an ass and I wanted it to look cool. Dead center. Oh. Gangster lean. Better? I mean, it's holding, which is amazing. That's so cool. That is so cool. God, it's awesome. It's insane how it finds equilibrium but then like twists and bends to, to stay upright. Mm -hmm. It's like mind blowing. So what do we have on the 53? That's like the 80 pounds. We need 20 more. That was like 15. Oh shit. Now and nothing except the center is under tension. Like everything's loose. And the last is a five pound mini sledge. You're not gonna be happy though. I need it to get to a hundred pounds. And that's a hundred. Oh! <laughs> it's holding a hundred pounds. Dude. Yes. That's amazing. hundred pounds. Now I'm terrified. Version three. We're taking recommendations here. But heavier cable on the outside, and then creating an under load, building an under load I think would help alleviate all of these issues. Now, for buttery beauty shots. love how this thing turned out absolutely amazing got it to hold 100 pounds which is 99 pounds more than version one uh, and if you haven't seen version one i've got it queued up for you right here i also want to hear what you think we should do on the next version so see you on one of these videos i got queued up right here